Hey everybody, Sarah here. So this is the intro video for my Clutch 80. This is the last clutch of the season to hatch. Uh, so I'm very excited to show you guys what is coming out of the very last eggs of the season, at least that I know of. I don't think any of the females are going to double clutch on me or anything at this point. Uh, but either way, I, I did get some surprises in this clutch. Uh, just remember that all of these videos were originally posted to TikTok, so they're going to be in a vertical orientation. If you would like to see snake update videos the first day they come out, you can follow me on TikTok. It's at Joy Princess Sarah. But if you do not want to get a TikTok, that's fine. Uh, I will be posting all all of these snake updates to YouTube eventually. Uh, so enjoy the video. I will see you at the end to talk about how I felt about the clutch. Just wanted to show you guys this female. She is laying eggs and looks like she only has two left. I'm just gonna leave her alone until she's done with that but I uh, just thought that you guys might want to see. We've got one last clutch of eggs. Uh, I don't expect any more this year. So it's been a few hours, I'm back to check on this mama, and it looks like she is done laying eggs. So I'm going to uh, get the eggs out, put them in a separate incubating enclosure, and then count them. So here the eggs are in their incubating enclosure. Looks like there's, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12! Uh, it's a really nice number. It's a really, I want to say it's a pretty average number. So really proud of this mama. She's doing really good. I'm going to check her over, make sure she's healthy, make sure she, um, you know, doesn't have any eggs stuck in her anywhere. And uh, then we'll make sure that uh, the eggs get incubated and we'll be back in about 60 days uh, to see if they're hatching. Well, when they're hatching, I guess. They actually all look good too, which I'm really excited about. We had a really, really good fertility year this year. I thought that I'd show you guys something that probably a lot of you have never seen before. You can candle eggs to see the veins on the inside. And sometimes the babies will even move. See that? This is an update on Clutch 80. Um, this is the last clutch that I expect to hatch. And the reason I got it out, uh, and it's in the dark, is because I wanted you to see the color difference between this egg and this egg. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell, but this egg is a lot darker on the inside than this egg is. Same with this one. And what that usually means is that the lighter colored ones are actually uh, amel types, and the darker colored ones are usually not amel types. So it could mean that um, our Okati female is hat for amel at the very least. These clutch, uh, this clutch has two more weeks before it hatches, so we will find out in about two weeks. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but this egg right here has actually been leaking fluid from when I had to remove another egg from it. I think it'll be okay for the next two weeks, but I will keep an eye on it. I don't think the baby will die, but... We are briefly back with clutch 80. This is the last clutch of the season I expect to have. They're exactly at 60 days today. Uh, a few of them are kind of denting in, but we'll see. They're still due in like a couple of days. I expect to hatch Okatees. All right, we are on day 84, I think, of this clutch, and we finally have a Pippi. Um, this was an Okatee to my Halo Okatee male. Uh, so, Halo Snow to an Okatee. And, uh, yeah, I think that what's in there is probably an Okatee. I haven't candled the eggs in a few days, but we'll see what comes out. Well, this one from Clutch 80 is showing itself, and it looks like we teased out an Annery Hut from the uh, Okatee female. So yeah, we've got a nice dark annery. This will be an Okatee annery probably. So yeah, I'm still waiting on any of the others to uh, pip. I might go ahead and cut the eggs, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys we have a little annery. It is the next morning. It's been, I want to say, 12 hours or so since I noticed the first egg pipping. And I did go ahead and cut the rest of them, but you can see a few of them are breathing on their own. This one, this one, the one in here. Um, the one back here also cut on its own. So uh, they're all coming out at a reasonable time. Obviously we have our little annery here. Um, a kind of unexpected annery. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that one in an enclosure. And uh, we'll come back and see how the others are doing in a little while. We are back with Clutch 80 and as you can see a couple more babies are out. This baby is very angry that I exist. Uh, and they're both annery, so we actually got kind of a high percentage of anneries in this clutch. But I guess since uh, the mom was had annery and the dad was uh, home was, I guess, annery, uh, we are statistically going to get about half anneries in this clutch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sex these two and put them in separate enclosures and wait for others to hatch. 
we now have what looks like a really nice looking Oka tea that came out. Um, I don't know if you can really tell uh, just by this recording how thick the borders are, but I think the borders are looking really nice. Uh, that's kind of what classifies an Oka tea phase is the thick black borders. And so I'm really hoping that this one after a couple sheds will be able to see uh, how nice of an Oka tea it actually is. And of course we still have some other babies. I think everybody's breathing right now um, and I imagine that they'll be out pretty soon. Well, we've got a few more coming out of the egg here. Uh, this little Oka tea in the corner is kind of peeking out, uh, kind of pulled back in a little bit when I walked in the room. And then we have two more anneries back here, it looks like, which this is a lot of anneries, I feel. I think there was uh, 12 babies in the clutch, and we already I already see six anneries total, and there might be more. Um, so we actually got a really high percentage of anneries. So I'm going to go ahead and sex these, put them in their enclosures, except for this one. He's not all the way out yet. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll come back when more of them are out. Okay, now the last four have come out, and they are all anneries. Uh, they all look really, really nice, too. Um, I am, I'm really liking, I especially like the pattern on that one's head there. It looks really cool. Uh, so give me just a second, and I'll come back, and I'll give you guys a final count of everything. Okay, so it's hard to get everything here, but these are all female anneries. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven female anneries, one female uh, normal slash classic Okatee, whatever they are, uh, and then three male anneries and one male Okatee. So uh, I knew that there was going to be a lot of anneries when I saw this clutch starting to hatch, but I had no idea that of the 12 eggs, 10 of them would be anneries. I think that's really awesome. So uh, we have a literally pair of Okatees, and then the rest are all annery Okatees. So I'm excited about this clutch. I hope that you enjoyed watching all of the little baby snakes hatching. Uh, I was definitely surprised at the amount of anneries that we got in this clutch. I expected about 50% as I mentioned in, in my video. I didn't even know the mother was had annery anyway, but um, I'm glad that I bred her to that Okati Snow because we obviously got a lot of nice anneries. I was considering selling the female, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to sell her now, now that I know what she has. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if I do decide to put her up for sale, she will be up on my website, sarahsnakeshop.com. So check me out there. I have books and merch and some other things as well. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.